Hi guys, welcome to FM Base episode 37 and our cup double header for Scumpup and Liverpool, that huge game against Liverpool. Let's just take a look how we've done in the last three games while we've been away. Beat Luton 2 0, Warrington and Oliver Williams scoring the goals there. Then another two from Warrington and one from Patton helped us beat Wickham 3 0. Before McKelly scored our only goal of the game, help us come from behind to draw one all against Wigan, in which game Johansson picked up a poor calf muscle, meaning he's going to be missing these two games coming up. Into League One, just look at the table, we're four points ahead of Wigan now, ten points clear of the teams fighting for relegation, so pretty soon we should start moving our way towards promotion. Warrington is current top scorer with 23 goals, four clear of his nearest rival. And we are going for a bit of a change against Scunthorpe with one eye on that Liverpool game. So this is the team we're going with today. A few players you may not know. We've got Cavani, Gore, Woodson, Ayoma, Sissoko, Malaka, McIntyre, Russell, Riminotta, Barnes, Griffiths and Stewart. Playing with Silva, here by Sirik, Victor, Williams, Ashley Munn and Dannert on the bench. So we've basically just gone for rotation, rotation, rotation. We should have enough in this squad to see us past Scunthorpe. And then we can play a bit of a stronger team against Liverpool. They are going for a standard 4-4-2 formation. We're going to cautiously tell them that... Uh, it's safe to them, we'll just sort of relax them a little bit. A lot of these players haven't played much at all this season, if any. Barnes drills the free kick in and we've won a penalty. And Riminotta is going to take this for us two and a half minutes into the game. Puts it underneath the keeper, straight down the middle of the goal for his first goal of the season. His first goal for us and 1-0 ahead after two and a half minutes. Great penalty there, too close for the keeper for him to get down to. Probably should have gone with his feet, really. But it does put us ahead. And a decent start from the uh, rotated players. I mean, apart from like what is some Malacca, Cavani, obviously, the main players that have been playing in the Cups, this is pretty much a third string team for us now. Russell to McIntyre, back to Russell. Looks over the top, but it's headed clear, and he finally finds Barnes. Slides one in for Stewart, and straight through the legs of the goalkeeper, makes it 2-0. His first goal of the season, his first goal for us, makes it 2-0. It's a lovely little finish there. It's a good ball for Russell for Barnes, and a superb through ball there. Takes a touch, and puts it through the keeper's legs, and makes it 2-0 to FM base here and we are cruising a little bit now a few of these youngsters getting their first ever starts which is uh, pretty good to see it's a long ball over the top and Stewart is in again and it's straight to the keeper and he's for some reason he's touched it and he's gone out for a goal kick we should have won a corner there this is what I mean though a lot of these players haven't played so the match fitness is affecting them condition going now pretty quickly Griffiths corner comes in and Ben Stewart gets his second of the game an absolute thunderbolt there little cartwheel makes it 3-0 just before half time lovely ball in and a folly into the back of the net 3-0 fantastic half there we will look at taking like Woodinson and Malacca off and uh, resting them in fact, Malacca has a bruised knee, so we are going to take him off now. Ashley Munn's going to come on for him. McIntyre's going to go back to left back, and Dano can come on for Woodinson there, because them two should be playing against Liverpool. I do have my eyes on them. Plans for them to play Riminotta into Griffiths. McIntyre now, what can he do from this left back position? He's tackled, but he keeps the ball in. It's cleared downfield, though. Sims looking to run past his man, he has done. Holds it up and pulls it back. Low Everton. McGarry into Whitmore, looks forward. Sissoko wins the header. Russell over the top for Stewart, good touch. Tackle there, and it's now Barnes 
cleared forward and a scunthorpe looking to attack ball over the top for sims shoots and it's a good save there fantastic strike and he did an equally good save from Cavani to push that over the bar corner comes in it's headed on and it's gone over the bar this time for goal kick and now we're into the game now we are 3-0 up people looking motivated looking calm Barnes free kick comes in as his Soko should have probably scored there to make it 4-0 fantastic chance for him Everyone fired up. We are just going to make one more change here. Um, we're going to bring Kierbay on top for Stewart. He's got a two goals. Give him that ovation. See what Kierbay can do in this final 15 minutes. Coleman knocks the ball forward for Clements. Malcolm flicked on. And Soko smashes it forward. And now it's Scunthorpe looking to build again from the back. Whitmore looks forward. Once again, one in the air. Ruminotta flicks it on. Griffiths knocks it down for McIntyre. This is so cut for Kierbay. Into Griffiths' feet. Running at his man. Holds it up. Cross comes in. Clements just about scrambles it clear. Gilmore back to the keeper. Danet wins it in the air. Ball over the top there. Sims is in now. And pulls one back. It's 3-1. With 12 minutes left. Ellis Sims with his sixth goal of the season. Lovely ball over the top for him to run in. Timed his run to perfection. Passes to Soko. Takes a touch. And first, pretty much first time, into the back of the net. We are struggling a lot for match fitness here. But we are cruising through to the next round of the EFL Trophy. Four minutes left. Throw into Clements Malcolm. Whitmore forward, Soko wins the header, Riminotta to McIntyre, Griffiths here, can he stand the cross up, it's blocked, Cannon looks to bring it forward, poor ball backwards, Kierbay wins the ball, Ashton went in, fires it just wide at the post, probably should have looked to go across the keeper there, final 30 seconds, Clements with a throw in, it's another back turn, cross comes in, header clear, Ashton wins on the ball now, Looking to drive forward, still with the ball into the area. Good tackle there for a throw in. We're going to take us time over this. This should be full time. McIntyre's throw in, short to Kierbay, back to McIntyre. Cleared out. Smash forward, and that is going to be full time. 3 1 victory there. Impressed by some of these players that have come in and um, played really well today so we've won in the third round Malacca is out for three days we are going to play Sunderland in the next round but we don't care too much about this game Stewart did pretty well there he looks promising now let's get to the Liverpool game shall we so here it is FA Cup fourth round day trip to Anfield against a Liverpool team that haven't done Perhaps as well as they should have done. They won the league the first season, but then they dropped down to fourth the past couple of seasons, and they've won nothing since. They are currently top of the league, two points clear of the team that knocked us out last year, Manchester United. So it's going to be a lovely test for us. So let's go and have a look at the team that we are playing with today. A few changes compared to the teams that have got us here because Johansson is still out injured. Woodson, Dannett and Malacca all suspended. So we've got Cavani in goal, Bonson, Whitehead, Santiago, Rudholm, Ashley Munn, Cyril, Culhane, Ryan Williams, Oliver Williams and Victor. With Jameson, McDonough, Elmo, Coveson, Warrington, Kierbay and McKelly on the bench. Do you, actually we are going to take Jameson off the bench for Patton. He's not fit enough to be involved in this game, especially if we need him. A few players are struggling for match fitness as well. But let's go and play at Anfield for the first time so far this series. See if we can do better than we did last year against Manchester United. We're going to go calm them down, relax them a little bit. It's uh, not very good weather. And we are just going to sort of see if we can make them a bit complacent. And basically praise them a bit. And see what we can do. It's a throw in here from Rudholm. Gomez has clear. Bonderson 
to Ashley Munn. Great ball in Oliver Williams. I think he was offside. It's going to VAR. He was offside, unfortunately. That was a great start there. It's a fantastic ball in. Quite clearly offside there. Fantastic ball there. If we can keep getting crosses in like that, we're going to have a chance here. And as you see, it's a pretty strong Liverpool side. It's a long ball over the top for Bruce there, and he somehow squeezed that into the back of the net, and we are 1-0 down now. After just three and a half minutes, it was Matip into Henderson, first time to Gruwich. Long ball over the top for Brewster to run on to. And first time past the keeper. And now it's a throw in from Gomez. Jones goes back to Van der Berg. And Victor's Rob Henderson. Victor shoots straight at the keeper who saves it. And we are definitely having chances here. I say it's a pretty strong team. It's, it's not actually looking at it. There's a few changes in there. Cavani, long ball downfield, and it's flicked back to the keeper. Rolls it out for Matip. Vandenberg and Gomez. Curtis Jones tackled, and Victor's through, and the keeper tips over. And that's a great chance there for Victor. Probably should have tried to lob the keeper, but we've got a corner, and these are what we need to take advantage of. Bonson's corner comes in, it's header clear, but Colhane has the ball. Still Culhane, back to Bonson, ball in again, Whitehead now, Sirik tries to pull one across, Bonderson, can he get the ball back into the box, he's past his man, Bonderson pulls it back for Ashley Munn and gives the ball away, and now Liverpool up to counter attack, and this is where they're so dangerous, Gruwich still on the ball, holds it up and Ashley Munn wins it back, but it's clearance, he's off his own man, and Jones hits the ball, Cavani saves the follow up, oh dear, defensively it's pretty poor there, See if we can calm them down a bit. Victor with the ball. Rudd home. Ashleyman. Looks to go back and he's given the ball away. And Brewster's past Santiago. He's past Whitehead. He's through on goal and it's 2 0. And it's probably going to be too much of a mountain to climb for us now. We do need to go attacking. It's such a poor ball back from Ashleyman. Santiago out muscled by Brewster and he just skips past Whitehead. Slots it past the keeper and look at all this red, uninterested, frustrated, anxious. Let's demand more. It's a throw in now. Gomez for Brewster. Jones back to Gomez. Just runs past his man and runs past two and Cavani tips it wide and that's a great save to keep us in it a bit. Downey with the corner. It's gone past everyone. Brewster's going to pick it up. And just no matter what we do, they're all unhappy we're going to go very attacking now see if we can get anything out of this game we've got nothing to lose now as we come towards half time we do look like we're going to go in 2-0 down we've certainly had our chances but I'm not happy with that at all and um, I mean what do we do we're going to bring Patton on do we no, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go three up top. We're going to go virtually all out and try and get something from this game. And we're also going to bring Coffson on there for Ashton Munster. So all three changes at half time to try and ward off any suspension for Ashton Munn, they don't want to go down to 10 men I mean if people are just frustrated no matter what shouts I do Matip with the free kick Brewster's in once again here good save this time, Rudholm smashes it clear for a throw in half an hour left can we at least score demand more once again from them a couple of plays focused this time, that's a positive it's a corner though for Liverpool Downey once again swings it in and Brewster gets his hat trick the header from the corner, one of the smallest men on the pitch. And it's 3 0. And the FA Cup run is going to be over once again. This time to Liverpool, and it's disappointing because we had good chances earlier on. I think they could have put that one on one away. Who knows what would have happened. Time's just going to tick out. We've picked up a load of bookings. We are going to get a fine for the amount of bookings we've had. 
Bonderson loses the ball, they're going to make it four and just make it even worse. Elliott with space, great block there, Rudholm clears it downfield, Warrington flicks it on for Victor, skips past his man and pulls one back at least, Victor scored at Anfield, his sixth goal of the season, it's going to be too little, too late, with just three minutes left, four added minutes, we have a throw in now, Bonderson to Warrington. For Kovston, that's a great strike, it's hit the bar and Victor was offside on the follow up and maybe if that had gone in there was a chance, 3-1, disappointing, we're going to tell them we're far from please, Bonson losing confidence, the rest of them fired up and that is the end of the FA Cup this season, we have reached the fourth round, beaten by the better team in the end. But we are getting better, I believe, against these bigger teams. So for the next episode, I think we play through a bit and we come back and do Sunderland and Accrington in the league in the middle of February. So if you have enjoyed this video, don't forget that like button, subscribe and ring the bell for more. And until next time, I'm out. See ya.